Hi folks, welcome to my channel, my name's Joe, uh, a little bit of everything, uh, mostly it's a DIY channel, sort of, uh, projects that I probably shouldn't have taken on, but have, and uh, some of the tools that I use to do it. Now, I am going to show you, in a minute, one of my favorite, all-time favorite pieces of equipment, and I rarely use it. I don't think I've used it once in the past 10 years, but I'm going, use, going to use it today because it fits the job. Uh, today, I have to cut some steel in half, and normally, I would use one of my Band saws. I guess you'd call them almost like a chop saw. Let me uh, show you and we'll start looking at what I have. So this is this is one of the saws. Uh, this is a pre-Harbor Freight uh, saw. Uh, I forget the name of it. It was $225 back in like 1980. Cheap. Uh, have problems the bearings are junk in here I've replaced those a couple of times the blade doesn't like to stay in its guides but it for what I need to do it does the job it's a nice small saw um, you can cut upright or you can put it in the vise and put it down Milwaukee pneumatic there you go wow that's 1980 so that probably qualifies as an antique, but it's actually one of the newer ones. Then someone gave me this one, which is a much bigger, heavier duty saw, but it's 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 in the same type of line. It's it's called well built, professional quality, made to last. Well, it's also made in Taiwan, but it also does the job has much heavier blades bigger throat um, really like that a lot I put wheels on it so I could roll it back and forth but that's not the star today and that's probably the newest of the saws so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look at this guy this motorized hacksaw now this has not been used much by me, but it's certainly well used. First, I'm going to give you some numbers here. 14-15, use Atkins blades. Oh, you probably can't see that, so where did I put that flashlight? We'll see if this helps. Quick, quick. Cut number 12, E.C. Atkins and Company, Inc., Indianapolis, Indiana, USA. Uh, used to, it's old enough that it ran on a flat belt. Here's the flat belt, and it has a clutch to run off the main shaft. Whoops, there, clutch, so that this will freewheel until you engage the clutch. So this really was made to be set physically in one spot. Use a clutch off a big overhead driven belt. 12-8, uh, must be a part number. And there's another one in there. 11-12-5, I think it says. No, 14-20. 4-0, 14-12-6. It's got all kinds of part numbers on it, I guess. Those are how they did it. But <laughs> it's well worn. Uh, this cap's been brazed here and here. This one's been brazed down here. Um, those are just the two that I know of. I think there's been a, there's a couple more on here. But uh, it's really nice, especially for what I was doing. And the reason I needed it 
is because I want to cut these in half lengthwise. And the other two saws, the vise is set too far back. And with this one, I can get it up nice and close. There's one half, and there's a half down there. So let me set up the second one, and I'll show you this guy in operation. It is, it is a marvel to watch. So one of the interesting features, or double features, I should say, on this vise is, number one, both sides can be adjusted 45 degrees. This swings out, this swings in. And also, it centers. One jaw is not stationary. They squeeze together, which is really kind of neat in the way it works. So I've got this in here, and you can barely see the line. I have to be in the center of that scribe, which is what I have. And even though the chuck, the chuck is close enough to the edge that I can get a good bite, it didn't have the support. The support is further out, so I just put the piece I just cut underneath just to hold it. So let's, uh, let's fire this thing up and see what happens. So there's, there it is freewheeling. And it's got a old washing machine motor on it, single belt, likes to slip off. And this is the clutch. So it will sit here probably for five or seven minutes and just keep gnawing away at it. Uh, I'm going to put some oil on it. No safeties of any kind, of course. So you can see the, the wheel spins, turns this crank, which is sliding up and down, which drives the arm along. Well, that's fine. But if you look underneath, you'll see this little lever getting compressed, and it goes up and down, and it goes up on the return stroke, drives this hydraulic cylinder to lift to lift the hacksaw blade on the return stroke. And you can adjust the amount of lift you want right here. Now, those seals are all gone, so we're not doing that. But it is interesting. There's your knob to tighten it up. And here, you want to put a little more pressure on it, you slide the weight out. Turn down the thumb screw. So there's a couple items on here, I don't really know what they do. I think this guy here, which goes over to the clutch, get, used to get whacked when the thing was finished, because it's got quite a deep throw in here. But that's gone. And then there's two holes through the frame down here with something in them. Again, don't really care. And this guy is also, I guess, part of that set up. I'm looking to see where that goes. That goes... Oh, that goes to the... That goes to the screw on the uh, vise. Don't know how that works. But it is quite a... It's a marvel to watch. Now, it's starting to slow down because I have too much weight on it. So I'm going to back that off. You can see it on the forward stroke. The wheel slows down just because we're running off this washing machine motor with a small pulley and a small V-belt. But again, for what I want, it works fine. So this is just a short, short one here.
10 minutes or so. To uh, This is an antique. This is beyond the antique. I mean, if this had to run off a main shaft through a manufacturing plant, it was probably water power or steam. It sure wasn't electric, so it's probably over 100 years old. Maybe someone knows. They can leave me a comment. So, there it is. I'm going to let it just chug away. As I said, it just keeps going. Um, and pretty quick it's going to fail because the stroke's getting harder. Uh, like, subscribe, share, dislike, comment. If you know anybody that might know something about this, um, yeah, share the video with them. Maybe I can find out some more information on it. it, it it's really kind of neat. It came from my uncle, and it was old when he had it. All right, guys. Well, you have a good day, and thanks for watching.